hey loves and welcome back to the channel guys so in this video i'm going to be doing a quick chit chat get ready with me video for a date night guys it's been a while since we just relaxed got glam looked good and went out basically so we're going to be doing that in this video um for this video i think i want something very natural but very still glam if that makes sense i just want to enhance my natural beauty so we're going to start off first with my hair installation right my skin is clean it is fresh i have not put any product which is kind of why it's looking a bit dry but we're gonna move on to that later and out so we're gonna be doing this highlight wig and this one is from rpg show i have used this hair previously so it's not going to be like a new install i have cut off the lace i kind of know how the wig sits on my head all i need to do is just align it like i'm doing right now <laughs> <laughs> I look crazy, but that's fine. I don't know if I want to do like a heavy makeup or just keep it light. Let me try to align this. Okay, this looks good. So what I'm going to do is just kind of get this hair out of the way side so it's easier to manage. So I'm going to just take this up a little bit. Mama. Hmm? Baby sleeping. Carson, what's going on there? Carson, how are you? Good boy. Carson, what are you doing? Yes. Who's a princess, Mama? Sister, Mama. Mama is a princess. I'm a mama sister. Okay, thank mama, you. Sister. Mama sister. My hair. Okay. Morning. Get me ready for Dada. Mm -mm. <laughs> So I'm going to melt this lace down. Carson, I'm extremely late. Bye. Bye, Carson. Okay. So let me pin this hair and start off with my makeup. Carson, you're back. Mickey Mouse. Okay, let me put Mickey Mouse for you. Mama. Let me put Mickey Mouse for you. Coming. Mama. Yes, baby. Mickey Mouse. Okay. Mama, keep Mickey Mouse. Say please. Please. Okay. Princess. I look like a princess. Yes, baby. I'm a I'm a light. Mickey 
So the goal for this is to try to do like a 30 minute makeup. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Skin Fat Water. Just to sort of like rehydrate my face. I feel like I want my makeup to look very breathable. All right, I don't want it to be too heavy because something I'm loving now is like my actual like beauty. Like, look at me, look, look at me. So what I want to do is to enhance what I have going on. I'm gonna go in with a vitamin C. I've missed doing this. It's been a while since we did um like the you know the traditional makeup tutorial. It's like now everything is so fast paced tiktok short form content people just i don't know they're just too quick with everything so i'm going to be using this um moisturizer it's very lightweight and hydrating i'm going to be using this to hydrate and moisturize my skin good to go the last thing i want to use is another moisturizer <laughs> Okay, so now that we are properly moisturized, I've moisturized my face. I want to go in with my, guys, this is a nipple butter. <laughs> this one is from Earth Mama. If you are a mom, try this hack. If you have this sitting around, try this hack. I do have um, lip masks, don't get me wrong, but I find that this just moisturize, it moisturizes the lips so well. You know, I used this for my daughter while she was breastfeeding, right? And it just worked. I figured I'll try this on my lips. Did, and it's so good. So next up, I'm going to focus on my skin and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I'm just gonna be using just a little bit of it. Wow, that's a lot actually, around. I love when I'm doing my makeup and then my face looks glowy and hydrated. I love that. It gives me so much joy. So something I'm going to start off with is contouring. I love contouring. So the way I do my makeup nowadays is that I try to go less on, try to go light with the foundation. So I do my contour to give me a subtle coverage, right? Before I go in with like my foundation and then concealer so I'm just going to use this to help define the structure of my face this one is the elf hello glow and it's in the shade jade medium tan bronze so what I'm also going to do is to use a darker contour because I feel like this kind of like blends into my skin on the contour area so I'm going to be using this from Juvia's Place foundation stick in the shade Katina just a little bit because it is super pigmented just a little bit there as well and we'll call that call it a day and just buffing that in this is going to kind of help not just shape but also add coverage and correct or cover up any blemishes I have over here I'm gonna go in with a liquid blush this one is from elf as well this is in the shade bronze bombshell guys this this is so gorgeous because it has like a hue of bronze like brown um and orange as well so it just looks good on my skin tone and i'm here for it it's going to slowly just buff that in and look at that gorgeousness like when you blend it into the contour or the bronzer that you applied, it just adds that warmth but still a bit of depth and color, if that makes sense. It is just a gorgeous shade. So what I'm gonna do next up is to correct. And I feel like sometimes people love using um, a corrector, which is fine. Um, I'm not a corrector girl. I've never been a corrector girl. 
I like using concealer shades to kind of correct. What I just do is just use my concealer shade. I use a shade that is literally like my skin tone to conceal or whatever it is I need to do. <laughs> Carson! Up. You want to come up? I'm at the chat. And the tear is outside. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do so I can finish. Mm? Mm. Oh, baby. Yeah, bye. Yeah, mama is coming. Daddy's coming. Daddy's coming. Daddy's coming. Daddy's coming. He just ran inside. <laughs> so, I'm going to just use this, my concealer brush, to help blend this in. I'm trying to do like a 30 minute makeup. little to no product and it feels like I already have a full face of makeup I have no foundation on but like there's structure in my face already right and that's how I typically like it I'm kind of contemplating on whether I want to use this elf um, hello glow filter my problem with this is it kind of leaves your skin looking very luminous but like I said it is currently it is so humid, like it's so hot in Nigeria. But well, I'm just going to use a little bit of this to just add that subtle glow, right? Blend this in. As you guys can see, I'm just playing around with product, with consistency, with coverage, just kind of doing like a mix and match. But I'm still kind of keeping it very breathable. So I don't know if you guys can see, like that foundation already gave me a bit of a glow, right? I feel like this is good enough, but what I want to do, so I'm going to take one pump of House Labs foundation, and this is in the shade 440, I think. Take one pump of that, literally like one drop of foundation, and call it a day right that's all I'm going to be using for my face so the last thing I want to do is to highlight my face I'm going to be using this one is from Il Maquillage just a little bit of this blend it out what I'm also going to use do is to use the excess product still on the brush to just kind of like apply on my eyelids so my eyeshadow can sit on this I'm also going to take this above my brow bone area just because I don't highlight my brows anymore I'm going to go in with my sponge to just kind of like blend everything in making sure that there are no harsh lines and that all the layers kind of sit properly on top themselves okay so this is what we are looking like what I'm gonna do next up is to set my entire face I'm gonna be using this powder palette I like using pressed powder now just because I feel like it's a bit finer in terms of texture it doesn't make me look or feel cakey before I set it down I'm just going to blend underneath my eyes and then grab it and 
set and this palette is from beauty by ad just in case i didn't mention it it's a nigerian brand i love i'm using this for like consistently using this palette for over a year now you can already see that i'm heating pan in all the powder so next up i'm going to be using my powder shade to just set the rest of my face definitely go over the areas that we highlight it okay, i'm going to use the same brown on this palette i'm going to mix these two together and just apply that on my crease and then take it down the bridge of my my nose For the eyes, I'm going to keep it very neutral and clean. So this is a no budge shadow stick from e.l.f. in the shade Champagne. I'm going to be using this. It's like a crayon. I'm just going to use this to just add a bit of highlight to the center of my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm going to be using my brow gel. This is the brow lift from e.l.f. e.l.f. brow lift. Just take a little bit of that. I smoked my waterline just a little bit. I'm going to fill in my brows. Okay, I'm done with my brows. I feel like it's a bit too harsh. That's fine. I'm gonna use my mascara. Just set my face. So guys, I just used lashes. They are so minimal, you can barely see them. So this is what we are looking like right now back to my hair I don't know how to style this hair but we have less than 10 minutes Hey guys, so we are off to. How does it feel like anytime we're going out, we're always in a rush? Break us up on God 
that I stay down We eat a pass in the past, that's all done now Glad that we stay down We gon' pull up in a whip, start a new trend Every inch of our skin is the blueprint Follow the lines They act like they forget, let's remind them Be my right 